the it's the what's the girl from uh oh Sarah Michelle Geller. That's what it is. Oh, from Buffy. Isn't Sarah Michelle Geller from Oh Sarah Michelle Geller? <laughs> I said the wrong one. What's the one that looks like a horse? <laughs> <laughs> Sarah Jessica Parker, right? There, there you go. There you go. I'm like, I'm pretty sure Sarah Michelle Geller is from Buffy. <laughs> Good lord. We, we found his female. Uh, <laughs> That's my Joseph now, Gordon Levitt and Jake yeah, Gyllenhaal. Now, his female Joseph Gordon Levitt and Jake Gyllenhaal is Sarah Jessica Parker and Sarah Michelle Geller. <laughs> Say you were doing that and Hess still had his foreskin from him as a child and you were going to go through that procedure. How do you know he doesn't? I mean, he might. But would you use his foreskin if he let you? And it would say it would make you look 10 years younger, but you have Hess's foreskin in your face. Nope. You wouldn't put his dick skin on your face? No. Nope. Hmm. I don't need to look any younger. I get carded and shit. That's fine. <laughs> just a hassle. It <laughs> is. <laughs> I just want to get old. I just want to be 80 years old already. Kind of. <laughs> just being an old man. Well, let's see. Have dick on my face <laughs> or hey, be a man? It's not just any dick. It's Hess dick. It's funny. I was at the uh, I was at the, the gas station the other day, Speaking and uh, <laughs> he's like, and some dude asked me to put my, his foreskin in my face, and I just couldn't believe it. Yeah, no, that did not happen. <laughs> but I, I was I was at the at the at the counter. There, there's two there's two registers, so there, it's an older guy. Like he legit walks up, at, for sure in his fifties, mm-hmm. maybe sixties. He puts two tall 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 boys down, and the lady's like. Can I see your ID, sir? And I thought he was going to fucking kill her. I legitimately thought he was going to fucking just reach over the counter and grab her by the neck and fucking rip her head off. He's like, I'm... He looked at her and went, he ain't wanting to fuck with me, baby. (laughs) He's like, are you serious? And she's like, yes, sir. I need to see your identification. And he had this total look of disgust and rage on his face. Like, you wouldn't fucking believe. I was just like, oh, I need to get the fuck out of here. That's pretty. Like, I, it is weird with those. I mean, I get it could be annoying, but like it's just you're just flipping out a card and showing someone, and then you're out of there. <coughs> oh, totally. It's fucking stupid. But totally. some places just make you make them card everybody now. Yeah. It's, yeah. I do remember, and this is the funniest thing I think that's ever happened while I was out in public with Nick, is we're at like Walgreens or Wal. No, probably wasn't Walgreens because they don't know you. It was, a, it was like Walmart or something like that. I'm gonna ask you. <laughs> and we were going through. <laughs> And she's scanning them, and she's like, I don't need to check your ID, because clearly you're old enough. And then she's going through again, and she goes, but do you, by chance, could you do get, like, the senior discount? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was like, damn. And Thanks, you're like, lady. No, not yet. <laughs> not yet there. And it was, like, five years ago, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. I would have been like, absolutely. But then she might have asked for your ID. I'm going to cut you in a lot. Like, ah, uh, it's in the car. Yeah. Uh, I just put my debit card in. Real quick, Jerome. Okay, real quick, Hess. Suns are up three to one against the Clippers. Game five tonight. Who wins? And what's the final score? Uh, who? Win? All right, I'm gonna say the Suns are gonna win, and the score is going to be forty-five to twenty-seven. Mm, this is basketball. <laughs> I don't know. Not sorry. Not okay. college no, basketball. I, I'll read. I'm put, gonna redo it. I'm gonna put redo, a one in front of those. I'm, at gonna, least. I'm gonna redo it. I'm gonna redo it. I thought that might be low. I was testing you guys on your basketball. Oh college. right, so, right, so right. Has passed. Wait, hang on. The lowest scoring game of the year happened the last time they played, and it was 84 to 80. So I was close. Yeah. No, you weren't even it's fucking close. Good thing. It's a good thing I tested you guys. Uh, so, yeah. So I'm going to say that it's going to. Uh, let's see. Suns are winning. Suns are going to win. That's for sure. Suns are going to win. Okay. It, it, that's it, good to hear. It's going to be 115 okay. to 86. Jesus. I hope so. He took on blowout. Yeah. All right. They went by 31. And if, and if that doesn't happen, you'll see next week. I, I hope you're right. I like your panties. You like your panties. Was that I Hess? Nailed it. Or was I that Bill Paxton? God, he's, he's practicing like but, in the mirror. Hess, do, do it more time. I like your panties. <laughs> I like your panties. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> Same person right there. <laughs> I like your panties. <laughs> All right, y'all ready to it's start? Just, it's just there. I like your panties. Yeah. You like your panties. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Random Ramblings. I'm your American normal boy, Jerome. That's not true. Mm. I'm I not- thought you were going to say it. America's DJ with the new headphones. I'm uh, Hess. I'm your America's DJ. I'm a Jerome, Romy, Romy, Rome, think. 
If that I, that that would have been perfect if you nailed that on the first try. Yeah, but you know I never do. <laughs> That's what she said. But you, and you can't say normal boy because what is the definition of normal? Well, not him. Every everyone's definition of normal is different. I guess so. That true. it's it's kind of a stupid word. So in other in in, <laughs> in other Hess is going in other fucking... words, Hess looked at me and said, "You're a retard." Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> And then I said, you can go suck a fuck. <laughs> yeah, and I said, what's a suck a fuck? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> a little hostile there. That Take was that from little, Joe's, Jake Gyllenhaal. A little hostile that there. Was from who? Uh, so today, boys and girls, we're talking about American Psycho. But first, we got to do a little Twitter poll here. And uh, Oh, yeah. That was, was that your movie or Hess's movie? I can't remember. Mine. Your movie? Yeah. All right, so you go first. All right, I'll do the Psycho up there and Batman Begins. Oh, picking um, I almost said Jason Bateman. Christian Bale. Christian Bale. Yeah. I was confused. Like you're picking the same movie. How are you doing that? Yeah. I'm going Psycho. So Batman you, wait, Begins. Wait. So you're you actually doing Batman Begins? <laughs> yeah. Okay, a little bit. So now we're doing Idiot's Guide to Batman. No, no. I, I would have done <laughs> The Dark Knight, but I've already watched it this year. So. Oh, so it's all about your list. Well, not all. They're both good, so. Okay. Uh, Hess, would you like to go second or best for last? Well, I, I can go. Uh, you can save your uh, normal boy for last. Uh, I'm going to go Jared Leto with Dallas Buyers Club. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. That might get Taylor's vote. I think he's always. So Dallas Buyers Club, right? Yeah. Okay. Have you seen that? I have. Oh, okay. I think I've seen that. No, yeah, I think it's great. I, I think the yeah. performances in that movie are amazing. Um, but so my movie, I'm picking Willem Dafoe and Once Upon a Time in Mexico. Oh, I've right. never I mean, never seen it. Apparently, you it's, know it's, that was the thing. It's third in a trilogy. I learned after make, deciding is my movie, but mm. I'm gonna wa- I want to watch it. I've never seen it, and it's uh it's a Robert Rodriguez movie. I've seen These it. These are usually pretty fun. I've seen it. It's been a while. And maybe from this we could get to Spy Kids. If we if we get the spy kids, I might have to call in sick that week. Yeah, me too. Oh, there's no sick day sick days here. Well, I I'll report you to fucking labor law then. <laughs> okay, maybe you can have one sick day. That's <laughs> <laughs> one's PTO. PTO and oh. sick time. God damn it! There we go. Did you stub your toe again? No, I was I was just crazy. editing that in front of the thirteenth like an hour ago. I was dying again because he, he's I forget I, 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 I said something and he agreed with me and then all of a sudden he goes, Oh fuck <laughs> Only guy that can stub his toe sitting down. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. Multiple times. Well the the funny thing is is there's a well it, it's it's like a it's like a metal rod down at the bottom of the desk. So it's just there and keep your feet to do. You know. I move my fucking feet around. So. Apparently. Just popped off, and there we go. Uh, does anybody, That's all she any, anybody have any good hashtags for this week? Rally the Valley. That's true. All right, Rally the Valley again. Rally the Valley. I got Batman Podcast, Rally the Valley. All right, 22 minutes on the clock, and it is live. Uh, So, Nicholas Michael Dick Wang, would you like to describe... Dick Wang? Yeah, that's, hmm. your, that's your rap name. My name is Dick Wang, and I'm here to say... I love American Psycho, and I eat <laughs> chicken wings. And I eat chicken wings. Uh, in ten words or less, would you like to describe this movie? Uh, sure. Without going cross-eyed, looking Fucking at a fly. Jesus. Uh, I almost called him Jason. Patrick Bateman. Well, that's Bateman. not his name. You're already wrong. You like your panties. Patrick Bateman kills... <laughs> A bunch of people and is definitely psycho. I want you to clean your vagina. I want you to clean your vagina. <laughs> there you go. What about this one? You're a fucking ugly bitch. <laughs> fucking ugly bitch. Oh, you got that one. I feel like you let, 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 me, let me just say, I, I think I've I think I saw this or parts of this like long time ago. And the, the dude is away. I mean he's he he could be like psycho, 
just because of the way he played this role. Like, oh yeah, it, it was crazy. Yeah, he. I feel like he taps in this too good. Um, we were like, oh, this is a little scary. Because remember, wasn't it a couple weeks ago or a couple months ago we were talking about somebody? It was like a performance like this. It might have been Jared Leto and like uh, the oh. new Denzel one. And they were saying like he like played the best as like a. Or I, I can't remember exactly, but uh, like this is like right up there with like best psychotic. Oh yeah, yeah. Roles. It, it was it was in um, No Country for Old Men. Oh, it, yeah. it was that dude. Yeah, that dude was the like one hundred percent like that's a legit psychopath. I almost said Sasha Baron Cohen, but I know that's not his name. So uh. <laughs> <laughs> Javier Bardem. Yeah, that guy. That guy. Um, <laughs> but yeah, th- this was nutbag shit, dude. Like when he. Especially like, I know I'm probably jumping the gun, but like running down the hallway naked with a chainsaw. Yeah, like, that that was. Oh, that, like you've never done that. Scene. I want to see you do that while those kids ding dong did. And then and then she's like banging on everybody's doors. Like nobody. I mean, I, yeah, I, I probably to, wouldn't open my door either. Though. I was gonna ask you guys did this. Did that happen? Oh yeah. Well, that's 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 those are the two <laughs> questions I got. One, did the things happen? But two, did do you think right. say say it did happen? Mm-hmm. Did you buy out like that entire apartment complex or hotel, whatever it was, and then bring her there? Is that what happened? I mean, maybe. Yeah, I mean, he could have. Cause that's that's what, that's what I thought. I then I'd like, oh yeah, some of this might not have happened. I forgot about that part. That's so weird. I, it, I've it, seen. What's I've weird seen too it. is like it's very. It doesn't tell you that that you just have to watch it and be like, oh maybe. Like you yeah. can watch this whole movie and be an idiot like I kind of am and think, oh no, those are just some weird scenes. Um, yeah. The- the cop car's blowing up, kind of give it away. Yeah, the cop. Well, well, some, the event, eventually it gets a little strange, but that's yeah. I will give it that. Yeah. It kind of goes over the top of some of that to show you. But it's, it's really good. I, I, I like to think it did happen. I would really love to see an entire series of this. Like multiple but seasons good. of them going crazy, and then it ends with like. Oh, you know, you it's, ba- out it's based on. on a book. So, like. Just turn that book into a series. You know, I never looked it up. Let me look it up right now. What the prequel was. Or, yeah, it's a prequel. Um, I Watching this. It's not like I forgot how good of an actor he is, but... No, yeah, same, though. I, I watched this, and I was like, wow, he's so fucking good. He, Rules of Attraction is a, oh, is, really? a, is a prequel to this. It's about both the brothers, hmm. and he turned down being in it. But so I, it would have been legit connected to this film as well. Um, But, I mean, he's got to be up there as one of the best, like, top five Oh yeah, best actors. What, what's funny, while watching this, I was like, oh, he should, be, he should play Joker. And I was like, oh, my God, he's Batman. Yeah, Batman fucking kills the Joker in this. But I was like, I would love to see a movie where he's the Joker, and then you got his Batman, and they, he this is him acting the whole time. Who, if 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 he played if he played Joker, who would you want as Batman? Who would I want as Batman? Hmm. Doesn't he always if, want if, Ben Affleck? If, 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 if Christian, I feel like that. Come on, he, let's he, let's he, be he, realistic. He, let's, let's do different because he already oh, is he's Batman. A good Batman. He is a good Batman, but let's do different since he was already Batman, and, and Christian Bale is it's a whole new universe. So who's our new? Chris Evans, Batman. Hmm, it's too nice. And you get, let him get, let him tap into his dark side a little bit. I mean, he's fucking big enough. Um, I'm trying to think of uh, any, or if we could we could do we could do really interesting and have him be Joker and do like Michael B. Jordan or John David Washington as Batman. Oh, that'd be kind of cool to make it a complete different thing. We put John David Washington in anything, and I like it. So your butthole. Well, <laughs> you set yourself up for that one. I want you to clean your vagina. I think we should have a butthole count. Every time you say butthole. Ding. Okay, can I can I Ding. can I play my favorite sound of the movie a little early? If you yeah, go ahead. I promise not to say butthole the rest of the podcast. I will. I'll say something else. This okay. is, I think, the by far best quote of the movie. Get down on your knees so Sabrina can see your asshole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so good. But 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 so but, 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 but when he goes. But I, the better part is what about goes, the, Sabrina? Don't now, just now stare eat at it. it. Eat it. <laughs> yeah, I that, love that. That's that that tops the first one because he's just talking normal and he's just like he's like so or blah 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 about the song. He, get down on your knees so Sabrina can see your asshole. <laughs> but he's not talking normal. He's talking like a fucking psychotic no. son of a bitch. Yeah, and then like he's he's all monotone. Like there's no like did fluctuation you, to it, and he's you, just n- nonchalant. Like. Did you see like, who oh, he used? No big deal. Who he used to use this character? Like who he thought of? No. Tom Cruise. Oh, for that's it's a little literally, sc- it's that's literally a little the scary. Fr- it's the first thing in the trivia on IMDb. Wow. That's a bit scary. He met he said it like he ran into him or something. So, so do you think he ran into Tom Cruise and Tom Cruise went? 
Hey, Christian. Get down on your knees so Sabrina can see your asshole. <laughs> and he was like, the the funny thing is, is I can hear Tom Cruise saying that. I actually want like, to see I, this movie I, now I, with I Tom can, Cruise. I can, I can close my eyes and see Tom Cruise saying, now get down on your knees so Sabrina can see your asshole. <laughs> and then Hess pops in and goes, that looks like a uh, jizz. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like you're just thinking about Tom Cruise a lot. <laughs> Looking for a way to create the character Patrick Bateman, Christian Bell stumbled on the co- Tom Cruise appearance on The Late Show with David Letterman. According to the co-writer and director, Bell saw Cruise this very intense, friendless, nothing behind the eyes. Wow. So is, Now is that was something I like to see. Jesus. <laughs> He's is he, is he Is he a method guy? Yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah, that. I mean, he goes he goes crazy with his stunts. That's like the only thing worth I mean, going to see his movies for. It's like, oh, how did he almost kill himself this movie? Yeah. Th- did you imagine like just like being like this, like for however long it takes to shoot the fucking movie, get ready for the role? I do want to did did, did did at all in this movie, and I don't mean this as as a negative thing, but at all did he remind you of Hess? Uh, once. And it was it was literally about about the stuff just now mm-hmm. when he's giving people just names. Oh, uh, like he doesn't want the real names. Yeah, yeah. he's you're like, no, you're Cynth- pa- you're Paul McGee. Yeah, I'm gonna be. <laughs> yeah, you're Josephine and you're Cynthia, and then you're gonna and then he just calls him that because he can't remember the real name. That's not really why, but that's what it reminded me of you. Uh, but what reminded me of him a little bit is that well, one I I could see like if Hess got a little bit of acting training, I could see him doing a role like this a little bit. Hmm. Which, you know, that's a little compliment to you. That's, that's, I would say that's pretty high praise. Thank um, you. But, but I could see him getting so into, like, a routine like this, too, being like, not exactly what he does, but, like, I get up in the morning and I put an ice pack over my head. And if I'm a I little smaller. And stuff like that. Like, him, like, talking to us about his routine. But then it'd be like, and then I took a 15-minute shit while I watched TikToks <laughs> of Warzone. <laughs> like, it would get, like, it would obviously change a little bit here and there. I could totally see you narrating your life and i think it'd be a really funny parody like imagine except he'd be doing this greg schultz but imagine a parody of this but the entire thing is about how hess takes a shit (laughs) so he's like i like to sit down on this and he has and he describes like the perfect toilet and he wants to sit down on and i wipe very gently (laughs) under my balls (laughs) going in i touch him very like just the whole thing would be perfect i feel like It'd maybe be- we'll have to we'll have to put that together one day. Maybe okay. I think that'd be a good idea. You could film it. Okay, and I just just hide, hide real, your heart on. I have a GoPro in his toilet, so you actually see him shit at the end. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> you wouldn't be able to and, edit that. And, Don't lie. No, I no, I would have to have someone else cut that part. That would just kill <laughs> I would say, me. There's no way you can edit that. <laughs> there's, yeah, I'd be dead. Be the clean, second I saw cleaning it, off the camera, I'd be like, <laughs> oh, oh my, throw, throw up all jack. over all over the place. <laughs> God, that'd be really bad. <laughs> He's like, you had to eat Chipotle last night. At the it's end, like, oh, here it comes, here it comes. <laughs> uh. <laughs> He's like, here it comes. That's us. Spicy made the ball. Here's the turtle. Oh. Yo, baby, turtle, baby, turtle. you're asshole licked by a fat man in an overcoat. Wow. Uh, so what else do we have? Yeah. Uh, uh, I added this because you usually look it up, but I didn't look it up myself after adding it. Mm-hmm. Any did this film win any awards? Oh, I don't know. I if it didn't, it should have, in yeah. my opinion. I, I, me- I meant to look it up so I could have it on here, and I they didn't. um, I did see there's a lot. A lot of people didn't want him to do it. Didn't want them to make it, or didn't want Christian Bale to do it. Didn't want Christian Bale to do it, but he didn't listen. To uh, it. I did see like a lot of the music um wasn't allowed, which I thought this was so fucking stupid. It was, I thought the soundtrack was dope. It's good, but they don't actually allow it to be on the soundtrack because it, there's murder in the movie. So, like, Huey Lewis and fucking whatever her name was uh, didn't want those songs to be on. Winnie Houston? Yeah, they didn't want them to be on there because of the killing in the movie. I was like, that's such a dumb reason. It didn't win any awards that. as you ever heard of. Oh, like, you know the awards that I... No, oh, this shit came I, out I, 21 I had... fucking years ago. <clears throat> Jesus. So, no, it won nothing, really? It was, like, Chainsaw Award. That's... that's, that's a chain? Oh, because it drops the chains on somebody. It's like, oh, it won like Zombie Land Awards. Yeah. Which, by the way, it, uh... I I started dying. Uh, either, yeah, it was last night. I was watching the Tim the Tatman video before I uh, went and watched this, mm-hmm. and he uh, he was doing one of those things where he he like kills himself and he spectates like oh, solos for the whole game and to see who wins and all this shit. And this guy was unloading on somebody, 
and the guy was dead, and he just kept unloading, and then the dead man was like eating, and he leans back up and goes, "All right, he's dead." And then he walked over. He goes, "You ever seen that movie?" Uh, he's like, "Zombie Land with a double tap." And started describing it. And I was like dying laughing because I was like, "Oh my god!" I always think Tim the Tapman reminds me of Hess. And you literally just did what Hess does, and like did that and brought up double tap. But I was like coughing in you know, my drinking shot because he funny. brought that up. I- I've seen Hess do the- that. I have, yeah. Yeah, Live it, it happens. I want to make sure they're dead. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we're, 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 we're running at that body the other day. And he was Brr! just making sure, guys. <laughs> we're like okay weirdo <laughs> hey but i don't ever i don't ask for ammo on, that's know, true that's game. true at so, least he doesn't shoot us and ask for yeah. hey can we get a music so, box <laughs> um the the thing that fascinates me was like watching some of these older movies the the, the budget in the box office stuff it, it was oh, seven yeah. million dollar budget and uh it grossed 15 million in the u.s 34.2 worldwide <coughs> oh wow yeah i read too if so it didn't seem like it did very well yeah. i mean so, so it made it made its money so but. this was like one of those things where it became kind of like clerks and stuff like that yeah. it can make success dvds and culty, although a 30 million culty. Culty. 30 million was a mark so it, i mean mm-hmm. that's a success it's just it wasn't like a blockbuster yeah for the people in it too you got well christian bale justin thoreau jared leto um i can't think of big little eyes what's her but name they were nobodies yeah, I guess. Well, he he was a child actor, so he was probably somebody. He got seven somebody. million for this. Um, DiCaprio was up for this. Ooh, that'd be interesting. Ooh, to see that would have been interesting to see. But he would get twenty-one million, and he and then he only won seven million, so they got him. Well, yeah, and I mean, if you think about it too, you pay him twenty-one million, you're not making anything either. Yeah. No, that'd be that'd be yeah. really maybe if, if we get our way. I think for our sequel, we should just pitch the. HBO mi- limited miniseries version of it. Uh, that would be cool. That would be cool. I would love to see a miniseries of this. I think it would be really fun. You could uh, have, like, uh, <laughs> Nicole Kidman in it. Yeah. Since she's been doing a lot of you HBO could, stuff put, lately. You could put uh, you could, uh, you, Alexander you, Skarsgård as Patrick Bateman. You could get uh, Reese. Reese Puff. Reese Witherspoon. <laughs> Reese Puff. Uh, Reese Puff Witherspoon. Yeah, she was yeah. pregnant during this. Oh, was she really? Wow. Yeah. Wow. Uh, she but, wasn't in it as much as I thought she was going to be in it. Yeah, I thought she'd be in it a lot more too, but it probably she probably wasn't. When we started, I I totally forgot everyone that was in it. But uh, and the, oh yeah, and, the, and then the 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 villain, I guess, of the entire series of Silicon Valley is his little whiny yeah. weird pal the whole time. Yeah. Uh, is there anything he liked got... his panties? Yeah, he did like and, his panties. And 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 uh, I didn't I didn't recognize Jared Leto. I had to look him up. I was like, who is this guy? Oh, really? No. It's really? He didn't go. Ah, ah. And he's like, oh, that's not the Joker. <laughs> it's probably the yeah. most normal he's looked in something. Yeah. I almost went with him and did Fight Club. I thought about that, too. But I was like, yeah, we... He's barely in Fight Club. We, I thought about it because, too, that was the Fight Club was also in the Plinkus Movie Club, so it would have yeah. been interesting to hear us then. Oh, fuck. Let's uh, say the same shit again. Yeah. but uh, So is there anything you guys would change about the movie? Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't leave it up in the air if he's... I would have. I, they were really. I, I agree with you, because I, the, the Willem Dafoe stuff kind of falls flat. Yeah, which I, I, some of that stuff. It was, falls some, way fucking. Some flat. of that was my favorite parts of the movie. Some, when he, because it almost seems like he's hey, fucking. You fuck like Huey Lewis? Like, he's, where he's like, hey, it'd be so weird if someone just w- randomly killed one of their friends. Don't you think? Wow, that'd be bonkers. I mean, unless he unless just wasn't the, real. I would say, yeah, unless that guy wasn't real as, yeah. as well. But. uh so that, I, that's the only thing that threw me off and then the the lawyer too that i'm just like what the fuck is going on yeah some some of that stuff i felt like you could go go more like if they had more time and more of a budget and they they could probably go through that better yeah maybe it I wasn't think. it wasn't that long of a film i didn't think yeah it was 142 i believe yeah yeah uh but i i think i think that's also one thing i would change is just that the willem to shit with that yeah, no, I, and not not and g- give you an ending, not leave it up in the air because yeah. it is, it's barely up in the air. I, I don't care if he gets caught or doesn't get caught. I just didn't like something. yeah something. Well, yeah. and then like that that the scene where he's like sitting there having dinner with Willem Dafoe, like he's like sweating like a fucking yeah. poor in church, yeah, he's and like drenching. he's not gonna pick up on that shit. <laughs> like that, there was actually a couple times where he was sweating in this that I was like waiting for one of his friends to be like, "Dude, what the fuck is wrong with you?" Are you yeah, okay? they don't fucking care. They're but all they, worried about themselves. Yeah. Uh, best quote slash scene. We already kind of discussed that a little bit, but we did. We did. Do you guys have any uh, things you want to point out right now? 
Well, murdered it. Yeah, you got best quote for sure. Best scene. I still like Huey Lewis when he killed. When, that that's a really good one. When Batman kills the Joker is the best scene. Yeah, for sure. I never actually I just, thought about I, it that I, way, but yeah. I like the way he dances. I say, is that a raincoat? Well, yes, it is. And he's <laughs> fucking murders him. What's it, what's that? Is, that is a top scene for sure. What's Jared Little's name in it? Paul Allen. Paul I mean, Allen. I, I love just when he goes, "Hey, Paul," <laughs> and then hits him in the face with it. Can you get a reservation now, you bastard, or something like mm-hmm. that? And then he's just, and then he's just fucking going to town on him. Yeah. And then he carries the, pe- carries the body down to the taxi and just talks to those people, just throws it in there, and the guy's like, <gasps> "Where'd you get Where that? Where did bag? you get that carry on? Where'd you get that overnight bag." The funny <laughs> yeah. thing is, is like. I was watching that scene and I'm going, wow, that'd be kind of cool to, you know, just fucking go ape shit on someone's face with like a fucking axe like that. You know, I thought but about I would, you because every time something like that happens, Tess goes, oh, God, that would must be so much fun to do. To it, it, would, it, would, it would. I think it would be very satisfying. Obviously, I, would, I don't think I could ever do anything like that. Maybe, but I hope not because uh, I don't want to go to jail, prison, whatever. Uh, but <laughs> Try to get I, I, would get, I would get pissed off if I got the blood splatter on my face. I think it would make me even more pissed. And I would probably well, after doing all that preparation to not make a mess, and then yeah. it just splatters you in the face. Yeah. yeah, I think that would just make me more angry, and I would probably. Well, I mean, if you hit someone with an axe, you should probably expect a little blood to get on you. Do you think? Do yeah, you... but I mean, with the COVID mask now, just it's gotta go. It's gotta be on. Do you think when Paul got hit, he went? Oh, daddy. <laughs> I don't. I don't think he said that. I just wouldn't want to clean it up. He should have put like. More than just the paper. Down. Yeah, a little, a little. Well, yeah, because yeah, I mean that ain't that ain't shit. Was like maybe, maybe that's single. more into it not happening. It should be like that room that is all plastic and Goodfellas. Yeah, did, or, or call, in Dexter. Call, I was just gonna say, call Dexter Morgan over. I read Dexter yeah. uses Patrick Bateman as an alias in one of the oh one of the episodes. Oh, yeah. oh that's interesting. Uh, that's pretty cool. Best performance, I think. Obviously, Christian Bale. We could kind of just move on. Yeah, there's no even discussion. No. Uh, <clears throat> sequel for this one we're doing our sequel slash I guess reboot for this one HBO limited miniseries uh, what for, if HBO doesn't pick it up the Netflix will get it oh okay but HBO they're gonna want this they don't like each other HBO will call the limited miniseries and then it'll do well and then they'll beg us to do season 2 and we'll go mm, we're gonna renegotiate mm. wow <laughs> um, I like that I like your panties uh, who do we want as our uh, Patrick Bateman I always, I always want. Can we to not? Him can we not get Patrick Bateman? Can we just get him? Just you want? You pay, want? We'll pay him whatever you want. Christian Bale I mean, I, again? I, I, yeah. I, yeah. He he didn't die. I mean, no. But, you but know? don't we want to do the, like this story again? Or no? I guess you could really do anything with it. So you just kind of. I would want to. I would want to continue. Uh, the, like where it left off. Like okay. Well, I do. And then, we, then we then we could go into if it was legit, if it really happened, if you know what I mean. Like I and think, then I think we could get the best of both worlds. Is, do you think there's anyone we could cast as a young him and do young and new stories? Oh, like, so like, like Godfather Part Two. Yeah, and then and then you do like a and you get like, like a, a Zac riff. Efron. Oh, I could actually kind of see that a little bit. Yeah, and he played Bundy. That's that's actually really good, dude. Zac Efron as the young. What about Drake from Drake and Josh? <laughs> I thought you were gonna say the rapper, and I was oh. gonna say that that wouldn't work. And that also wouldn't work because he's going to prison. Because uh, he's like insanely ripped, like you know, like yeah. But I, I, I think the Zac Efron's a good call. I like that. And do I legitimately his- laughed out loud when he was like, when he's like working out and he's like narrating it. He's like, I can do a thousand a day now or something. I was like, <laughs> yeah. I was like, this guy's fucking nuts. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but so I like that. So then, what's uh? I think uh, if we're gonna get him back, do we try to get like uh, Justin Thoreau and all of them as well? Oh, I mean, bring them, I bring them all back. Let's they'd double. Be, they'd be the easy let's, part. Let's double the 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 seven million. It's a fourteen million dollar budget. Maybe even wow. go triple. Wow, twenty one million. I think you'd have to if you're getting those guys back. Yeah, yeah. that'll just be for cast. Yeah. Um. Okay. So say, just say we got everybody back. Remember, then the, for the young part, we're just kind of remaking American Psycho with the flashbacks. Maybe we add a few new scenes, or whatever. But what do we want the goal of the? Like of the, I guess present day stuff with him, to be, do we end up finding out? Because oh, we want to find out. Does he, is he crazy or was he actually killing this whole time? I think it would have to kind of be like both. Like sometimes he makes it up, but sometimes he kills. Yeah, I kind of, yeah. I kind of like that. I, I could dig that. Maybe he could go to a <laughs> psychologist. Oh, and make, and then you get a little Sopranosy. Oh. 
That's, Dr. That's, Melfi on the couch. And that's where you get the flashbacks. Okay. Yeah. I, that's actually a good idea. Okay. That's I like a, that. A good little plot device. I like that a lot. I want to see this fucking show. This is annoying, actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know. And that, that that's what I was going to say. Like, I really enjoy this movie, but it really annoys me that it's like left to your interpretation. That they're fast. like, oh, you never know. It, it's kind of up to you. Like, it really bothers me because it's like. I want to see if the director has you an answer. I think you would like that because you're the king of you never know. Yeah, no, but I mean, I'm watching a movie to be entertained. Like, I want to be you entertained. I don't want to. I was entertained. Just the, I watched this. You just have to. I come watched to a conclusion. this. I watched this not in parts. I watched the entire movie all at one, one sitting. I I did Google it, and it, it he said that it's that he, he's not. He doesn't say. He doesn't say what. Yeah. If it's real or if it's not, it's like left to your interpretation. That's what I'm saying too. I like I like Nick Nick's version better with both. I think that's fun. I do like that too. Well, I, th- I think we need to go to HBO right now and pitch this as an HBO or HBO Max <laughs> series. All right. I would totally 100% watch that. I don't know if he would do it. Even if he wouldn't do it, you could still cast someone else and get the same thing going. It just wouldn't it's be not a good, good wouldn't be as cool, you know. Right. But I really I like the Zac Efron and the him, him going to therapy and shit. That'd be fun. It would be cool. He could be on medication. He goes off, yeah. kills some people. One time he's like running down the hallway chasing someone and they go, You like your panties? Wow. That's right. <laughs> no panties on. No panties on. Uh, let's see. Well, and the, 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 the other thing too, like, his like apartment was like, everything was like white. Couches were white. Fucking chairs were white. Yeah. I like how he's like sitting there just talking on the phone when the fucking porn just railing in the background. Yeah, like, that that was Jesus also another, another part that I was like, if Hess lived by himself, I could see that being him. Be like, we just we're hey, you guys want to play Warzone? Ah, 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 ah. I'm gonna hop on in a minute. Ah, ah. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to focus. Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, like, and I, he's I, like, I, I downed I someone live, and I'm hard. <laughs> he I also uh, had Texas Chainsaw Massacre on. on. Yeah, yes, he, he did, did. That, that on at one point too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, did we learn anything? I think we learned that uh, two bullets it, HBO, HBO needs to give us a little ring-a-ding-ding. Oh, yeah. And two ring-a-ding-ding. Bullets, two bullets can blow up a cop car. And I learned that at any moment, Hess, yeah. Hess could tell me, Get down on your knees so Sabrina can see your asshole. And I'll be like, all right, if that's what you want. Um, we learned that you can't feed a cat to an ATM. <laughs> yeah, that was fucking weird. That was a really yeah, weird part of that. But see, I, I I feel like that, like that shit, like I'm leaning towards none of this happened. Like he's just fucking crazy. Yeah. Well, and also because he goes to Jerry Leto's apartment at one point, and it's like completely different, or like the closet was different, or whatever, or because he had multiple. I I, could even I thought it apartment. I thought it was like a third fucking apartment. The last I, one. I was confused if he had multiple. What was going on at that last little bit when he went to like 18 buildings and just kept shooting people? Oh yeah. Uh, but then he went to one of them again, with all the bodies were, and they were all. It was just like cleaning supplies. Right. Yeah, just smokes granny on the fucking sidewalk right in front of the ATM. Yeah, I like too. Like you might want to. You have to sign in. Ah, boom! Just shoots the guy, runs away. He was a good shot too. Yeah, yeah. He went out the door, he, came back he, in, and he shot didn't the need guy. any munitions. No. Uh, you guys ready to find out what the next movie is? Sure. Oh, I can't wait, Jerome. Dun, I can't dun, wait. Dun, 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 hey, that's even fast. Quick, quick. Quick thing, uh, Doctor Disrespect sitting at the at Suns game tonight, floor seats. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Maybe that'll maybe uh, a little Doctor Disrespect there will make my prediction happen. He's got a. Uh, he said he's got his vlog team coming and he's going to make a vlog about it. Well, that's kind of cool. Um. So in last place, seventeen percent. You sound disappointed. Once upon a time in Mexico. Oh. I didn't even vote for it. Wow. Whoa! What? How many votes? Uh, only six. Oh boy! So us, Taylor, and two other folks. Uh, th- at thirty-three percent, second place, Batman Begins. At fifty percent, boys and girls, we're watching Dallas Buyers Club. We're all gonna be getting rich, putting on dresses, and fucking each other. <laughs> I thought you could relate to this. That's why I picked it. <laughs> Me or Nick? You? <laughs> okay. Have you seen it? I believe so. Yeah, that's that's the one with uh, Jennifer Lawrence. Matthew McConaughey. And Jennifer Lawrence, right? Those two? No. She's not in it? Is she in it? I don't think so. I don't know if she's in it, but I know Matthew McConaughey's in oh, it. Oh, maybe she... No. I'm looking it up. If she is, it's pretty early on, I feel like, in her career. It's about him getting AIDS and stuff. Oh, yeah. you know what? 
this is not the movie that I thought was going against Wolf of Wall Street. Let me tell you the movie I thought this was. Let me see. This is mm. Here we go. I'm trying to look up her name, but I spelled it wrong. Here we go. I got it. She's Jennifer Lawrence the third. What? Sure. She's from Louisville, Kentucky. I know that. I didn't know. I didn't know they did that with women. Uh, with women's? I I asked Taylor the other day, how come they be always just jump to junior and you don't give your kids like sequel titles? Like you're not like like you couldn't name me like. Nick two electric boogaloo, and then or like like Nick the third with a vengeance. You know, you never do anything like that. Well, he wouldn't be the third. American Hustle is what I thought we were discussing. Oh, we could do that next. That, that's what I, I almost think. actually picked that. That's the one that was going against uh, Wolf of Wall Street. What I was talking about in the beginning, I was. What he's movie? In that. What yeah. movie is it? American American Hustle. American Hustle. That's why I thought. That's why I thought that. Because mm. uh, American. Uh, yeah. Say say it again slower because you're you're cutting out. American Hustle. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Does that help you? Yeah. That, well, I, I, I literally <laughs> like glitched out. So I'm like, I heard American, but I was like, He's I like, don't know sniper? what the fuck he said. Because I, I haven't seen American. I haven't seen American Hustle. Oh, uh, well, maybe we'll do that next. Or maybe it's we'll. possible. So this is the one that he gets all skinny and gets AIDS for. Okay. I wasn't, I wasn't aware. I've never seen that. I wanted to. Why do you keep playing him? Isn't he the one that gets AIDS? No, it's Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, Matthew right. McConaughey. I, I, what is, I, what is I, wrong with you? I mean, I know the answer, but. You're a retard. In American Hustle, he's fat and bald. Because he's fat. He's fat. He's really, really fat. And bald. Yeah. Do you yes. want to do our movie yes. list? Get the fuck yeah. out of here. Okay. The, uh... That's a spicy meat the ball. That uh, Zubac. Zubac is out for the Clippers. Their center, not playing. Really? I haven't seen that. Yeah. Uh, Sprained MCL. I've I've watched a. I saw him hurt it. Sorry. I've watched two hundred and twenty-two movies this year. Wow, you had a two, two, two. week. Yeah, I watched like nothing this week. That's not true. You went to the movies with me yesterday. You know, I said I watched like. Oh, nothing. like. Fucking penis breath. Uh, it's a spicy meatball. I watched movie forty-three, which was pretty bad. Still, Fifty Shades of Black, which was horrible. <laughs> Uh, Friday the Thirteenth Part Two, False Positive, which is a new Hulu movie with Justin Thoreau. I saw that had a four point nine rating on IMDb. It's it's kind of a remake of uh, Rosemary's Baby, but a little modernized. Mm. It's a weird movie. I enjoyed it. It's fucking weird. I don't think I would have enjoyed it as much if it wasn't the people in the movie. Mm. Um, oh. But uh, at the end, I was really uh, I don't want to spoil anything. But at the end, I was rooting for someone to get semen in their mouth, and it didn't happen, so I was disappointed. Mm. Uh, and then I saw <sighs> a Quiet Place Two yesterday. Which I enjoyed a lot, actually. I like quiet, quiet place too. Also, mm-hmm. I wish it was a little more quiet place in the theater. Yeah, the I, had people a, next, I had a the, buffer. The people next to me were y- yapping the whole time because only one of them had kind of seen the first movie, uh, so they kept asking each other questions the whole time, and then they started making fun of the deaf girl as well in the movie. Oh, that's nice. The entire the deaf. hero of the movie. Yeah, she was talking to her brother, and they all of a sudden go while she's talking, and I went, "Are you fucking serious right wow. now?" Wow. And I like, I just looked over at them, and they were like, they were just giggling. And then at one point, like a guy like sneezed in the audience, and they laughed so hard at that they had to pull their shirts over their head. Because the guy sneezed. And I was like, I kind of want to fucking Patrick Bateman these guys. They're they're, they're probably them. stoned or on. PCP or something. I wanted to least look. I wanted to look over to them and say, "I want you to clean your vagina." It's funny, is wow. I was sitting next to him, but I was on the other side. Didn't hear a fucking peep. It, what, there was <laughs> there was a bunch of people coming up, and they sat down. And there was perfectly one space next to me, and I was like, "Oh, thank God!" Okay. How much do you regret sitting where you did? A lot, because I got to. I came up first, and I was like, <laughs> "Oh, I'll leave him the space here." And then, is, but, but so there's, that's how I planned it when I bought the seat. Mm-hmm. I planned on sitting where I sat, but I thought, oh, that fucker's going to take my seat. Yeah, no, I was nice. Uh, and there was a seat next to me open still, and I was like, oh, thank God. They, like, they didn't they didn't buy all the seats. And then, and then another trailer plays, and it's going, and then the last trailer, all of a sudden, that guy walks in, and I was like, no, you fucking better not. And he just comes right up, sits right next to me like a little shit. You're like, COVID. Yeah, I wanted to sneeze on his cock. How many movies did you watch? <laughs> uh, 226. My name's I like to watch movies. I saw. Uh, did I see Hitman Wife's Bodyguard this week? Yep. You like your panties. And then I watched Stand By Me, which I liked. Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard is too fucking long. Mm-hmm. But the first one was horrible. It wasn't a good movie, but I was entertained. It mm-hmm. was. It was. There was parts of it that were like great, and then there was other parts where you're like, eh. uh, but it was. It was okay. Um, Stand By Me, Friday the Thirteenth Part Two. Back to the Future, Back to the Future 2. <laughs> you okay, ass? Mm. 
What did he do? <laughs> what happened? What happened? I don't know. I was trying to be still, and it looked like Drum. It looked. It looked like Drum was staring at me. Like, is he frozen? <laughs> And I just started laughing. Sorry. That's when maybe I was frozen because I I was looking at Nick and I looked down and all of a sudden I was just laughing. <laughs> so I was so confused. Wow. Sometimes it's hard to tell when you're frozen. <laughs> um, Back to the Future, Back to the Future Two, Quiet Place Two, Back to the Future Three, and American Psycho. Jesus. The Back to the Future was. Oh, I, did I not write that down on my list? Because I started it in the bath. <laughs> Let's see. I didn't. That's on my list as well. So I watched 123 movies. I'll have to fix that. Uh, uh, but 100, 123. Sorry, 223. Uh, but so I was. I I I brushed my teeth and I was getting ready to take a bath, and I got the movie ready and I paused it and I was doing something and all of a sudden I hear dun 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 dun, dun in the living room and I was like, "There's no fucking way he's watching Back to the Future right now." <laughs> right when I started Back to the Future, so I got done and I went out there and he finished the movie and I was like, "How weird is that that we both started watching Back to the Future?" Around the same time, yeah. without talking to each other. Well, it was funny. I was scrolling through. I do this a lot. I was just like today. I went on Hulu and I was like looking at shit, and I was like, I'm gonna pick a movie, or something that grabs my attention. Mm-hmm. That's what I did on Net. I was like, oh, I could just bust out all three Back to the Futures. Yeah. Um, and apparently, this fucking scumbag doesn't like Back to the Future two at all. Two. I don't oh. mind two. Oh, he hurt his toe again. <laughs> uh, one's great. Two is okay. I like. Like when he goes back to the past, mm-hmm. I mean that's what they should have called it. Um, the future stuff is just dumb to me. Like like Michael J. Fox. Get down on your knees so Sabrina can see your asshole. That doesn't even make sense. I just don't. I just didn't like it. I don't know. I it's. I mean it's okay, but it's just like it's not. It's, it's nowhere it's, close to the first one. It's better. Jesus fucking! I I, I weep. No, I think th- those those two to me are exactly. I enjoyed. Are exactly I actually same. enjoyed three more than I thought oh I would. Oh my god! Get the fuck! It's time to end this fucking podcast. You like three more than two? Yeah, because they weren't in the future, fucking yelling at each other. Oh, would faxes. you roam me, roam me, roam me, roam? Think. Joy retard. All right, it's time to end this, ladies and gentlemen. Nick's He's just shaking Nick's, his tits at us. Nick's fucking gone bonkers over there. Gone bonkers. Uh, thanks <laughs> for gone bonkers. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please <laughs> like, subscribe, comment down below if you want. Has to get down on your knees so Sabrina <laughs> can see your asshole. And we'll see you guys next week for Mer- uh, Dallas, Dallas Fires Club. Club. <laughs> it was called an American uh, graffiti, and <laughs> that's what we were talking about. Jesus Christ.